Standardization. It is a process of finding the exact concentration of a solution. Titration is one of the procedures used in standardization. Calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide make up the Tums tablet. They will react with the acid as seen in the equation below. Carbonic acid will be formed. It is unstable under elevated temperatures and will quickly decompose to form carbon dioxide and water. Affected by Le Chatelier's principle, the formation of carbon dioxide and water will shift the reaction to the left to make more carbonic acid. Back titration using excess hydrochloric acid will be used to dissolve the Tums antacid, which will drive the equilibrium to the right. The solution will be heated to remove the carbon dioxide gas, and the excess hydrochloric acid will be titrated using a standardized solution of sodium hydroxide. Subtracting the amount of hydrochloric acid titrated from the amount initially added will help you find the number of moles of calcium carbonate in the Tums tablet. First, obtain all the necessary equipment. Make sure you weigh the Tums in a weigh bottle on the analytical balance using weighing by difference. A link for the video is in the description below. Pour some stock HCl into a beaker and record the concentration. Drop the Tums into the Erlenmeyer flask. Before pipetting, clean the volumetric pipette three times with distilled water and once with stock HCl. Pipette 100 milliliters of HCl into the flask with the tablet and be sure not to wear a glove on your non-dominant hand. Pipette above the mark, then wipe the bottom of the pipette with a Kim wipe to avoid any excess liquid. Then lower the meniscus to the mark. When the bottom of the meniscus reaches the mark, you have pipetted the right amount. Place the flask on the hot plate and heat to a gentle boil for 5 minutes to remove the dissolved carbon dioxide. Dissolve the tablet as much as you can. Try swirling the flask or breaking the tablet with a stirring rod. The tablet has insoluble binding material, so you may not be able to get everything to completely dissolve. If any film forms along the side of the flask, wash it down with a disposable pipette or a wash bottle. After 5 minutes of boiling, set the flask on the bench to cool. Add 3 to 4 drops of phenolphthalein indicator. If the solution stays clear, then proceed with the next step of the experiment. However, if the solution turns pink, then add 25 milliliters of stock HCl and swirl. Make sure you record how much HCl you have added. Place it on the hot plate again and bring it to a boil. Add 3 to 4 drops of the indicator. If the solution stays white, then proceed to the next step. If the solution turns pink, then repeat this process again. Transfer the solution to a 250 milliliter volumetric flask. Make sure the funnel is lifted when you pour. Rinse the Erlenmeyer flask and the funnel with distilled water. Dilute the solution to the mark with distilled water. You may want to use a disposable pipette to make the bottom of the meniscus meet the mark. Place the stopper and twist. Invert the solution to mix. Transfer some of the diluted solution to a small beaker to make pipetting easier. Then use a volumetric pipette to transfer 25 milliliters of the solution to a 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Add 3 to 4 drops of the indicator to the solution and titrate. A link to the titration video is in the description below.